Good morning. Let's get right to it. We have a front moving through southern New England right now. We also have Matthew down to our south. And as I put up this future cast, you can see it kind of joins into this big mess. So we don't get Matthew directly, but we do get some of the moisture streaming in from Matthew today, and that will lead to some showers. And some of these could be heavy at times because we will get some of this stream of moisture coming in from Matthew. Getting a lot of questions about the Red Sox. You know, there are signs of hope. That's because I think the heaviest rain stays just to the south of the Boston area, even though it's kind of tough to see on this map. So I would say bring the rain gear if you're headed to the game, prepare for some showers. But I am thinking there's a decent chance that they actually get that game in at 4 p.m. at Fenway. All right, back to Matthew for a second. Center of low pressure offshore from North Carolina. Still wrapping around some pretty gusty winds. In fact, it's the backside of the storm, which is picking up the really gusty winds right now. Rainfall being wrapped out ahead of the storm, and it has been the rainfall, which has been the huge part of the weather story over the past 24 hours. These are radar estimates of rainfall. I did see a report from the local weather service office here where we had 16 inches of rain near Fayetteville. I-95. Uh, I-40 were closed for a while because of the extremely heavy rainfall, and they still may be closed. Up in Virginia, also some very heavy rain, 7 to 8 inches, likely some higher isolated amounts there as well. We will not see rain anywhere close to those numbers today, but we'll get some much-needed rain. We just like to not have it on a Sunday. The darker shades of green showing you where some of the steadier, heavier showers are right now. Most of it has been of the light to moderate variety, but some heavier bands are possible, especially later on this afternoon. Drop on the lens and problem. Providence. Temperatures running in the mid 50s to around 60. Temperatures not moving very much today. In fact, will actually fall a little bit into the afternoon. There goes the track of Matthew, far from southern New England, but close enough to bring in some swells starting today through a good portion of the work week. So we will see some building seas. There was also Nicole, tropical storm Nicole out here, which I'm not showing you. That will also combine to produce some swells in our neck of the woods over the next few days. Our front streaming in the moisture right now. And speaking of that moisture, it continues to be with us throughout the late morning. This is around 11 a.m. Obviously, we have the parade going on Federal Hill. Best, best case scenario, we actually have the steadier, heavier rain to the south and east of I-95, where it could be spottier from Providence and points to the west. Again, that's the best case scenario. I would definitely bring the rain jacket or umbrella and just prepare for the rain showers. Worst case scenario, you get a lot of soakers when you're out there at the parade today. But a lot of people from Eyewitness News will be there if the parade ends up happening. So definitely come on out and say hi. And I think Tony Petraca will be there to talk about the weather. All right, let's talk about uh, tonight. Finally, the shower should move out after 9 or 10 p.m., drying things out. Partly cloudy skies, temperatures back into the 40s. There is the temperature trend for today, falling back into the 50s by 3 o'clock in the afternoon with those winds getting a bit gusty. Tomorrow is better, 61 with mostly sunny skies. WPRI.com, the place to go for your latest weather updates.